agents are becoming the new business applications. In fact, Gartner say that by 2028, 33% of all business applications are going to include Agentic AI. Today, I'm going to show you how you can launch your first Agentic workload on Amazon EKS using Auto Mode in just a few minutes. For this, we're going to use Strands Agents, an open source SDK that's been developed by AWS. Strands Agents lets you build and run agents with just a few lines of code, and you can use it from development all the way to production. Once you have your agent defined, you're going to want to think about how you're going to host that on AWS. Which compute service are you going to choose? If you've standardized on Kubernetes as your operating model in the cloud and want to run your agents on EKS, the easiest and fastest way to get started is to use Amazon EKS Auto Mode. And that's what we're going to be showing you today. Let's imagine that you wanted to provide users with the ability to discover things to do on their holiday. Maybe you want to check the weather, find an attraction that's suitable, and even book tickets automatically. There are multiple stages involved in that process, and typically you'd want to use a specialized agent for each of those. Those agents are gonna need an LLM to reason. The LLM doesn't have access to real-time information, so you're going to have to provide it with a way of obtaining what the weather is where you are. To do this, we're going to need to deploy three components to Amazon EKS. The first of these is a really simple user interface, something we can use to tell our agent what we want it to do. Second is the agent itself, and we're going to need to give that agent some tools, tools that it can use to complete its task. Finally, we're going to need an MCP server. Our MCP server is going to provide that really standard interface to all of our internal and external tools. In this case, that API that's going to give us the real-time weather in the location that we want. MCP servers allow us to also reuse those tools across agents and help us build more complex systems in the future. The last component you're going to need for your agent to run is to provide it access to an LLM. In this demo today, we're going to be using one of the Claude models from Amazon Bedrock. You could also choose to provide your agent with an LLM that you're hosting yourself on Amazon EKS. Typically, you do that if you want to further standardize on using Kubernetes as your default operating system in the cloud. EKS Auto Mode comes with all of the drivers and device plugins you need to deploy those accelerated instances into your cluster. It also provides functionality to automatically detect and repair any GPU hardware failures, keeping your cluster healthy so that you don't have to. So let's get started with deploying these components. I've already created our container images and pulled them to ECR. And here you can see those same three repositories we just talked about, one for the UI, one for the agent, and one for the MCP server. We have our image built and ready to go. If you want to see how I built that image or look at any of the underlying code, you can go and check out this repo. We'll put the link in the description. Now that we have our three container images, let's go ahead and start thinking about how we're going to deploy them. With Amazon EKS Auto Mode, you can provision EKS clusters that are pre-configured with all of the storage, networking, and compute capabilities that you need to run production-grade workloads. With Auto Mode, there's no need to manually configure all of these components before you can get started with deploying your agents. You can enable Auto Mode on an existing cluster or create a new one through your preferred method. EKS Auto Mode really simplifies the work that you have to do by automatically selecting and provisioning the optimal compute for your applications, dynamically scaling as your workload scales and continuously optimizing your cluster to reduce costs, all while driving higher performance. So let's go and have a look in the console at a cluster that I've created. If we scroll down, you'll see here that Amazon EKS is enabled. And this means that all of those components you need are ready to use out of the box. If we go to the Compute tab, you'll see that right now, we don't have any nodes running in our cluster, but we do have a couple of built-in node pools ready to create instances as we deploy our workloads. And if we go look around the cluster and look at some of the other components, you'll see that right now, we don't have any pods or deployments running in our cluster. All of those components you might be used to seeing, things like Core DNS or Carpenter or the EBS CSI driver, we now manage all of them on your behalf. So you won't see them running in your cluster. If we flick now to my IDE, we're going to go ahead and deploy the three different Helm charts that contain my three different containers. Remember, that's our UI, 
our MCP server and our agent. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we're going to watch in the console to see what Amazon EKS auto mode does. So here I've entered these commands and now auto mode is determining the optimal compute to launch for my pods. You can see that in just a moment here, it's going to have picked a node to provision and it's going to be adding that node to my cluster. As soon as that node is up and ready, EKS will then schedule those pods onto that node and start running them. These EC2 instances are managed by Amazon EKS auto mode, meaning that you don't have to worry about patching them. This not only reduces your operational burden, but also increases your security posture. You'll see here that I'm simply forwarding the traffic and opening the user interface in a new tab in my browser. It's going to ask me to log in. And once we've done that, it's going to bring up our agent interface. Now we're going to ask it what the weather is in San Francisco. What's happening under the hood is that our agent is deciding whether it needs to call that real-time API or not. Here it's given us a response. It looks like it's a beautiful sunny day. This is the first step of our travel agent. You could then go on to define multiple different agents, each performing different tasks, and deploy them to your cluster to create that end-to-end -end workflow. And that's how simple it is with Amazon EKS auto mode. We went from having nothing deployed to our agent running in just a few minutes with no additional cluster configuration required. If you're ready to start building your own agents, you can check out all of the code that I used in this demo on GitHub. Click the link in the description. You can also register to attend one of our free hands-on workshops where one of our solution architects will guide you through how to build this architecture for yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.